Hello everybody and welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Metzel. Good afternoon, happy new year. It is 2021 and we are going into this episode of Friday Stand Firm like it's I don't know, early summer 2020. Look at this card. Mr. Jim McMahon put together, handpicked it himself. I don't know what's going on with it. You don't know what's going on with it, Jimmy. But I think the big boss does, and he is coming out to address the JFW universe right now so we can just let the boss tell us what to like, I guess. <laughs> That's, that's how I like to go through life without thinking at all and just having people tell me what to do. So that should be great. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a vote of confidence you want in your co-commentator. Uh, here we go. Let's get to ringside. Yep. Well, JFW Universe, it's a new year and the bus is back, goddammit. And I'm sick of the bullshit we saw in the last few months. It's clear that JFW needs a face to sell shirts. I, I mean run the place. And the old guard isn't cutting it anymore. Tonight, I'm giving the roster a chance to climb up and seize my big brass balls. We're gonna find us a company man to lead this show if it fucking kills us, goddammit. So everyone tonight, book tonight better fucking bring it. It's almost mania season, and I'll be goddamned if we're gonna go into it with two Yorkshire puddings holding my precious titles. And I tell you what, someone's gonna get fired. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Well, laying it out, Mr. Jim McMahon. He's looking for something new. He had a bit of a fallout with Tony Plays Poorly after the way Tony teamed up with Skuro in the last few months after Survivor Series and looking to put his uh, big, big hairy tea bag right back, <laughs> <laughs> stamp it right on the JFW again. And, uh, hey, you know what? Look at it from another angle. At least we're getting a card full of guys we haven't seen in a while. And coming out first, here's two of them. It's Volcayo <laughs> versus Wolfram Ajax. Here we go. 1v1. Now, Jim seemed to imply there might be some firings to those who underperform. So if ever these guys were going to have the match of their careers, this is probably their career. So... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if these two can deliver who is going to catch the glint in the eye of Mr. Jim McMahon. Probably not either of these. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, dear. I'm, I've got to uh, tell you, Gorilla, um, my, my throat's killing me. I've been coughing all day and stuff, so I might have to mute a, a fair bit. I'm just going to cough my guts out. So it's a normal Friday. <laughs> yeah, except this time I'll be muting for a reason. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, so you're saying I shouldn't wait? I shouldn't wait or hold my breath for a yap after uh, after talking? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Might be less yaps than normal. <laughs> right. You were supposed to say yep there. <laughs> uh, apparently, Fox Mania. Generally speaking, when the billionaire boss who's driving the show directly into the ground hates you, you're doing something right. Yep. <laughs> I, yeah, well, well, you know, it's Royal Rumble season, so uh, if ever there's a show to get you a pay-per-view appearance, it's the Royal Rumble. Will it be Volcayo maybe ever being seen again, or will it be Wolfram Ajax? And speaking of, uh, not, no one was speaking of this at all, I need to get some water. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Do you know what? Today I coughed and it hurt my eye. It hurt my head and my eye. I've had that, I think, like about four times now in my life. It's pretty fucking weird. And 
The one from Ajax's entrance is pretty cool. I quite like it. Making his way down the ramp. If you don't know why he's uh, got horns on, his name is Wolf Ram I Ajax, Ajax, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he, he's got a little bit of all of those things, I guess. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, eh? Hello, Muppet. <laughs> Fox. Fox trying to endear himself to a boss. I don't think it's going to work, but <laughs> <laughs> he seems to have his mind made up on that one. Yep. All right, and here we go. 1v1 action. Wolf from Ajax and Volcayo underway. And the crowd is going tepid, folks. Look at that. Nice maneuver there by, by Volcayo. But here comes Wolfram coming right back. You know, uh, Wolfram IX does have a signature win from last summer, Jim. Do you remember it? Nope. Neither do I. I was kind of hoping you would. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you want to match at some point, though. And it would be a good talking point if we had any sort of notes whatsoever about either of these wrestlers. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? You should do that. Well, I mean, I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it looks like Wolfram going to send uh, send Volcayo over onto the apron and then not <laughs> do anything and get punched in the face. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of uh, ring rust here, a little bit of, uh, you know, TV nervousness going on. Oof, drops him right onto those ropes there. And the ref for the count, not even a one count, looks like a rope break there. Tom Schniz, the Friday fuckboy himself, the red mask. Plim Plum loser weight championship match tonight. The one match Mr. Jim McMahon couldn't bollocks up because it was set <laughs> accidentally last oh, week. Oh, he's mounted him. Oh dear. Sure has. Oh, two count. Volcayo can't get the full penetration from the three count there. Tom Schniz versus Elliot. Your main event Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship on display. All we got to do is get through five other matches to get to it, folks. Oh, yeah. This could be one of the fastest shows in JFW history. However, it's all singles matches. Yeah. Be thankful for small that means, mercies, Yeah, that, mean, that means about one-third the amount of entrance time spent. <laughs> matches, the thing is, the singles matches can sometimes they can run for a while, though. Okay. Really depends. They could be instant and over. Cool, big back body drop there by Volcayo as, as uh, Wolfram Ajax drops the ground. I'm just going to say Ajax. It makes me sound classier. Yep. <laughs> Volcayo, now he's going to spend some uh, time celebrating that he could be spending uh, stomping the shit out of his opponent, but he's right back on him at least. Punch to the lower back, punch to the face. And now look at that, nice suplex there. Now the pinfall, this might be a two count. I don't think he's getting a three out of this. Not even a one count by, by Volcayo. Volcayo did have a pretty solid match in uh, Skirmetsu's high-intensity tournament, but he was not able to get the win in it in round one. And there's that that the tilt a whirl neck breaker, whatever you want to call it, got him a one count. And now uh, Ajax here standing tall. Well, he was until he got close lined down.
All right, well, oh, we're going to trade off clotheslines once again. Volcayo gets him down, going for another pin here. Maybe try to finish your buddy. No. One count again. You got to wonder what Mr. Jim McMahon is thinking backstage watching these performer, these two perform. Is he excited? Is he not? Neither of them are six foot six and full of muscles. So got to believe that's going to work against them no matter what they do. But he does like a, the odd power slam here and there. So maybe that power bomb by Volcayo. And what's he setting up here? Ooh, something coming. This could be good. Looks like a spear, doesn't it? Oh, no. no! Oh, he gets him there. Another tilt-a-whirl neckbreaker. Could that do it? Volkaya with the cover. Oh. No! Two and a half count kick out there. Oh, He's probably playing Battle Brothers backstage, let's be real. <laughs> he probably would be. It's better than fucking Blood <laughs> Boy. Oh my god, I went back and watched the VOD and I hated you even more after I watched. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't care. I just, I saw, I was like, oh, I missed, I, uh, I was like, I came in like an hour and a half into your stream. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, he's playing Battle Brothers now, so he must have just played one game of Blood Bowl today. I wonder if it went well or poorly. <laughs> and then as like, I, like after like, after like two minutes into the kickoff, I was like, this game isn't going 16 turns. <laughs> Yeah. Wasn't even close. He didn't even like nothing bad even really happened though. Yeah, <laughs> I guess no. the death was pretty stupid, but yeah, but nothing bad happened. It. I just didn't want to do it. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want to play, you don't want to play. Like whatever. Oh, and there it is. There's that half Nelson suplex finisher by Volcayo. This could be it. it could Might be. have scored a win here. Well, our backs were turned. Oh, no. no, two and a half again. A little bit of resilience on display by the Wolf Ram Ajax. <laughs> oh, well, back body drop on, on Volcayo. Now, this would be a match for Volcayo to uh, really fumble away if he can't get the win here. He's been really outperforming Ajax thus far. But here's the comeback by Ajax. Can he get something going? Oh, looks like he's got something big planned up. I have no idea what it's going to be. It's the outside well, of edge. Course, yeah, absolutely. The inside edge. <laughs> is this it? This might be it. This is the kind of move that'll put a lot of people away. Not quite on the level of a uh, Demon Prince Rick Reckless Crucifix Bomb, but... <laughs> He's got him and good sure enough, enough to put away Volcayo. Yeah, Wolfram Ajax taking the win, and just as I was saying, that's disastrous for Volcayo. Volcayo, buddy, you had the match. You just couldn't keep on him. And you let him in. You got. Oh, look at this. Uh, I think. I think. I think Volcayo knows it. I think he knows this might be it for him in JFW. What a shame. A young talent's gonna have to. I don't know. Go fuck himself. I guess there's no <laughs> indies. There's no indies in the JFW universe anymore, folks. <laughs> there you go. And Wolf Ram Ajax, did he do enough to catch? Uh, Catch the eye of Mr. Jim Smith, man. Yeah. Ooh, gotta Ooh. let a dog in. And now, uh, oh, God, we haven't seen Zook for ages, have we? Or is under. Unbelievable. Who's been forgotten, Bezel? You set us up all right? Yep. Yeah, was, All right, I can tell the crowd really excited now about a Zungar versus Mighty Zug. Yeah. Hello, MC. You really, you really built this one up, huh? Yeah, Mighty Zug, a uh, <laughs> kind of a kind of a kind of a fan favorite from back uh, back in the summer days of the uh, super heavyweight division. Yeah. Never really got that signature win, and a Zungar. What are you gonna? What, what can you do? It's his longer. He's got a bike, right? Doesn't he come out on yeah, a? He's got yeah. Stone Cold Comes out on the ATV. <laughs> it's pretty good entrance, to be fair. The Finnish, <laughs> the Finnish, the the Finnish communist, a longer. <laughs>
Well, he uh, he's certainly happy to be back and on TV. Yeah. Is the crowd is the question. Is Jim McMahon happy he's back? We'll find out. Let's see what he's got. But he does have a powerhouse of an opponent in Mighty Zug. Mighty Zug has, has really impressed in a lot of matches, but mostly they're four-way matches, and he just hasn't gotten those wins. That's true. Pretty terrifying. Another seven footer, isn't he? So. Absolutely. Big man. What's the plan? Awesome. Well, can he get the win? <laughs> and get the pin. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, can he keep his job? Or will, or will he be off on the couch like a slob? <laughs> will he have to do the job? I mean, it's not predetermined, but. <laughs> <laughs> No worries, Kavai. You're welcome. Uh, very, very dominant uh, uh, presence for Doug, for sure. Great entrance, uh, but can he piece together again? This is probably, probably one of the first ever singles matches for Zug uh, and that could be that could be the magic bullet for him getting to pound on the the Finnish uh, the, the Finnish communist <laughs> and oh no it does not does not succeed in that adventure oh my dogs are about to go ape shit oh, yes and uh, now Zug standing tall stomps away. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Look like he's had a fucking try to have a shit. Yeah. Hello, J5. Speaking of sitting on the couch like a slob unemployed, it's Johnny Five. <laughs> exactly, Cody. Exactly. Hello, J5. Oh, no, Bezel, you're doing it all wrong. You gotta. You gotta hawk the merchandise to get me my sweet subs that you know fucking Johnny B Good will uh will give to Jim. <laughs> oh nice maneuver there side Russian leg sweep for the uh wannabe Russian. And here comes Zug stepping. Oh, doesn't go. Uh -huh. Zug seems like the kind of guy that really needs to go over the ropes. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. But he's uh, he was trained by Baron Corbin, wasn't he? So I guess. Uh, I guess yeah, fair enough. He's he's more on secretly, uh, you know, kind of a kind of a sneaky good move set um, is old Baron Corbin. Yeah. Uh, not not necessarily a fan favorite, but uh, he's got some good moves and the innovator of the self rock bottom. Yeah, the problem is he just looks like shit, doesn't he? In real life, Baron Corbin, like, he just looks terrible. Even I, I don't, I don't, I don't mind him. I, I just think he sounds like he's just like he's just a prick. <laughs> he just seems like like he he seems like the kind of guy you don't like, and it's not because of his character. Yeah, yeah, but I still think that would be fine as long as he just had some muscles. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, I, I know I know what school of uh, what school of thought you come from on the whole wrestling world. If again, it's, it's just like Mr. Jim McMahon's looking for now. Maybe Mighty Zug has a big advantage here. He's about the right height and uh, about the right uh, amount of muscles all over his body for the look. But Zug can move pretty well. Um, he, he really should be doing better in JFW than he has been. Yeah, it's almost like he doesn't hang out and chat and uh, <laughs> sucker dicks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's almost oh, like that. Oh, beautiful choke breaker there. <laughs> oh, is he? Oh, is he empty? I always thought. I always thought part of the Xbox heat was that he wasn't a good dude. I thought he was a shit heel, but I, I, I don't really. <laughs> I don't know much about him. <laughs> 
My buddy peed next to him once at a urinal. <laughs> oh, and there it is! The it's self-rock self -rock bottom. bottom! It's over! It's over! No one kicks out of his self-rock bottom. <laughs> and don't. sure enough, Zug, very dominant, and holy shit, that might have gotten Mr. Jims McMahon from 6 to midnight, folks. They might have done that, and he's, he's, the he's the prototypical Jims McMahon uh, masturbatory fuel, isn't he? <laughs> Yeah, well, Kyle, you sure did, and uh, don't watch the VOD, buddy. <laughs> it, was, it was actually a pretty fine match. <laughs> it was a fine match. Just came up a little short. <laughs> See, if, if if Mighty Zug was a real wrestler, he'd be awesome, wouldn't he? Seven foot tall and that, and that fucking muscular old baby. I'd buy that for a dollar. Um, calm down over there. Calm down. <laughs> do, I need, do, I, do I need to play WAP to cool you off or something? Four. Oh, God. Uh, here oh, we this go. Is this cool is the now. match of the night, if you ask me, folks. Ripper Doc versus Mora Plovach. Ripper Doc, a plimplon pluserweight. He did have a little bit of a little bit of a run before we just replaced him in the storyline directly <laughs> with just Joe. Yeah. It's just just far more entertaining. <laughs> yeah. And uh, on the other side of it, Mora Plovach, the Norse country member um looks like that is an o face right there folks. <laughs> it looks like he's got his fingers and he's like he's just <laughs> pulled them out <laughs> oh good lord well that could be a sign of things to come for sure yep <laughs> yeah he should be shouldn't he actually uh, no it was a it was a it was a uh, totally decent length match volcayo and um, it just you know Fell apart for you at the end. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it any more than I already have. Yeah. Just show shit on me. In a just world, maybe, Bezel. In a just world, maybe. <laughs> Bezel's a funny chap, isn't he? I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> You lost and we shat all over you. <laughs> the end. No, that, that, that's not entirely true. It's not right, the though. truth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. I feel like he shouldn't have this music. Yeah, no. I know. I didn't change his, <laughs> his entrance. Just, just, just like uh, Lord of the Ring, Basil, because then we're never going to get to the destination the yeah. way that's been fucking going. <laughs> uh, but I just don't care. It's so good. <laughs> it is. Cool. I'd rather, I'd rather it take me ten years to finish than rush it at this point. Fair enough. <laughs> Absolutely, JJ5, we were going to push him over the summer. Honest to God, yeah. I was like, we need a Plim Plum Blizzerweight for Mighty AF. Fuck it, let's just put Ripper Doc in. <laughs> yeah, well, there was, actually, there, was actually, there was actually method behind the madness. It was, it was actually pretty genius. And then uh, yeah. it didn't happen. I forget. I, I kind of forget. I forget what we were doing with that. Because it was Wanger was losing weight to win the... You know, even though he's a super heavy, he was going to lose weight to win the world's the world championship, and it was Ripper yeah. Doc that had said, like, you know, certified him losing the weight, and then he joined in and stuff. And oh, right, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. And then we just kind of, we just kind of didn't do that. Just didn't, didn't do. <laughs> just that. Joe was a better addition. Just Joe was a better addition. Yeah. It's a mighty AF than <laughs> fucking Ripper. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to take uh, two minutes to tap out real quick, Jim. Uh, oh, so you're going to have to take over on this one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> like, thanks for the heads up, I meant not. <laughs> thank you for going. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. There was a move there by Ripper Doc, a wrestling move. And now he's, uh, he's kicking dirt in the face of more poor He doesn't want to be cool. Or he's grabbing his penis and throwing him away, tossing him off. You could say. Look at that, grabbing the bulls by the horns. <laughs> That's a metaphor, but it really happened. <laughs> that should be with folks talking. Yeah. 
<laughs> Extra doctors. Oh, look at that. The agility of uh, Ripper Doc there. And he sends more Paul back down to the ground. Will this be it? No. Even more Paul back isn't that bad. <laughs> Again, grabbing the grabbing the horns. Um, using his medical knowledge to uh, to twist that arm exactly the way it's meant to be twisted, but somehow causing extreme pain. All right, how are we doing in this one, Jim? Jimmy? Fantastic. Uh, it's it's been a dominant performance by Ripperdoc so far, to be honest. Mm, fair sure enough. Do we do we know to... who trained him? Uh, it was Paige. No, no I won't <laughs> oh, give no, in. Dear. Until no, I'm baby. victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Muppet. Glorious. Oh, it was Goliath. Glorious. Thank you very much, Goliath. Um, for keeping Muppet fantastic. Glorious. Thank you very much. <laughs> Two and a half feet I'm curious if that squeaking I'm curious if that squeaking sound is coming through on my mic at all. It's not. Okay, good. Because uh my dog has like a hedgehog toy <laughs> that makes a very uncomfortable sound. It's not like a squeaky <laughs> toy squeak. Uh -huh. So I would assume coming over a mic it just sounds like I'm constantly farting. <laughs> no, no, it can't. <laughs> well, I like non-stop, constantly farting. Well, now that you tell, now that yeah, you I say what it sounds it. like, I would totally not tell you. If that's <laughs> 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 yeah, J five. Uh, yeah, that, that I, that's believable. It sounds like fucking a flashlight without any lube. <laughs> that's about right. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Is this it? No. Oh, Man, should have uh, had, should have those, uh, North, those Norse space. country tights. The Norse country tights do not cover the Norse country pubes. They do not, on, no. On Moram Blowmash, not at all. No. Nope. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out of all angles there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should have had him accompanied by Space Cadet, but never mind. Oh, here we go. It's time for the, uh, the mm. fucking... Rampage, the rip, the ripping and the tearing. Is yeah, it time for the ripping rip and the tearing? Tearin'? The ripping rip and the tearing. <laughs> <laughs> He's got him. Boom. Oh my God, look at this finishers ending matches. It's like, uh, you, you know what? They, <laughs> don't take away from uh, the former card or anything, but when you watch Tony kick out of like 18 finishers, <laughs> it is kind of refreshing. To yeah. see one and all, look at this, more good sports, more Plovatch. Maybe he can hang on. Oh, I wouldn't shake that hand. Oh, God, no. <laughs> more Plovatch maybe can hang on to his job because he's got a tag team uh, keeping him afloat. We'll see. We No one really knows what's in store for any of these win, lose, or draw, folks. <laughs> yep. Yeah, not no. And here we've got a battle of the Antipodeans. Absolutely good word. Didn't even mean to do that. Um, well, not that I did any of the booking, but <laughs> Bakers versus Kiwi Nutsack Attack. Now, you, Jim's McMahon, uh, you know, alluding to uh, what I thought was supposed to be a brass ring, but he called it his big brass balls, and you had to reach out and grab them. Well, if anyone knows anything about grabbing some big brass balls, it's Kiwi Nutsack Attack. Let's see if the New Zealander can take on his uh, fellow New Zealander, Bakers. I mean, yeah. he can if he can win. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely going to take him on in a few minutes' time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, if he doesn't, he's got <laughs> other problems. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Where's the best wrestler? Not on tonight, sadly. Uh, Goliath. Skurro has the night off, Goliath. No, none of the, none of the good wrestlers are on. Never mind the best wrestler. <laughs> 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 yeah, unfortunately, uh, we let we let the boss book the show, and uh, that's what you get. 
Maybe it was just maybe it was just all the good talent had the night out, had the day off because it was New Year's Day. <laughs> these were the dregs that were so desperate to be on TV. They travel around for the fuck this show is. <laughs> Get banged on. <laughs> The huge man, medium man, little man challenge, J5. <laughs> that's pretty funny, J5. Oh, that's not the card. Table leg, god damn you. <laughs> I don't think it's ever been the card you've wanted, table leg. Maybe that's the point. Yeah, maybe that's it. Are you in my Discord table? Like you should be in my Discord. Yeah, I'll post it in my Discord. There you go. That's the. That's the card. I'd do it if they had if they had more than as many slots as they were meant to have. More than two hundred megabytes of stuff can be stored. It's fucking bullshit. It's I can't even believe how bad it is yep. that they say that you've got like. You've got a tenth of what they say you've got. It's fucking ridiculous. So fucked, isn't it? Sure is. <laughs> That's why I say don't put any faith whatsoever in this game ever. <laughs> my team was like, yeah, here's how to back up the game. I'm like, honestly, if the game ever deleted all my info, I'd be just as happy to uninstall it <laughs> as I would recover it. I think that would just be enough, you know? Yeah, yeah. And right off the rip, no surprises here. Uh, <laughs> the big bird thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a oh man, so I know I know people don't see your Steam pop-ups like I do, <laughs> but every time Captain Melons' name pops up, I just get immeasurably happy about <laughs> his fucking trio of monstrosity wrestlers that he wanted made that we just never even thought about making. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, it was like a fucking clinic on how to not get into the JFW. <laughs> and we have a low goddamn bar, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fight spills to the outside. Kiwi still all over Baker's right now. Slams him right into the ground there. Oh, but he no, misses with a punch, and opening for Baker is, gets the forearm in and then immediately fucking countered. <laughs> oh, smashes his face off the steps. Four count by the ref. <laughs> J5, yeah, but the only reason Lemon draws is because my two friends are fucking idiots. <laughs> 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 I, I I don't I don't disagree, Volkaya. You just had to close it out. <laughs> oh, little. Well, wait until you see his finisher crash him. Which I, I believe is just a fucking straight up ball show. <laughs> like, no, no ifs, ands, or buts. He just punches you in the balls and closes it out. <laughs> uh, if we were gonna do that, J five, we'd have to like edit like a proper like lemon is good vignette. But I don't think that joke would carry so well because I didn't know until like last show. But that was based on Henry Cavill because it does not look like him in any way, shape, or yeah. form. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. We'd be better off just making Henry Cavill and, like, just putting him in the show and just constantly tweeting his matches at him. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Bean versus Henry Cavill, headline and mania. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, Sean Bean doesn't have a Twitter. So. Oh. He's far too Sean Bean to care about social media. Yeah, that's, that's the only fair. reason I know that is I wanted to put his actual Twitter in his entrance when I was making him originally, <laughs> and I went and found the only thing I could find was a fan one. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. <laughs> he got blocked by Wesley Snipes. Fair enough. Oh man, yeah, we should have Wesley Snipes in this as well. <laughs> Just make it a cross between JFW and Celebrity Deathmatch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, action in the ring here. Kiwi Nutsack fighting out of uh, suplex there, but Baker's able to remain in control and he sends him over the ropes and outside of the ring once again. Uh, you fill out the form that someone will link to you in a moment and then you hang out in the JFW streams and you hope that me or Jim uh, likes you. <laughs> yep, <laughs> there you go. Or, or, or you just give him like a sub or a cheer and that'll guilt him into doing it. Yeah, yeah, money always bribes bribery always works. Yeah. Um but like obviously the the better the better the direction, the more chance yeah. basically. That that's the biggest thing. Like something a bit yeah. that appeals to me personally, or to school yeah. personally. And then good Yeah, direction. absolutely. Um the other the other thing too is that we have like what do we have? Like almost a hundred wrestlers at this point? Yeah, so there's not many slots left, you know. Yeah, and we have like, you know, effectively we have twelve matches a week. You know, not all of those are 1v1, but, you know, we're talking a quarter of the card to, you know, 30% of the card exposure every week. Oh, oh and there it is. A low blow from behind. That might have done it. Here comes the pin. Ref not calling it out. Couldn't really see him around his bulk. Just a two count. But, yeah, you know. And then when you think about it, we, like, try to run storylines, obviously, because it's a wrestling promotion. And we try and run them between at Glorious. least one, two, or maybe no, three pay-per-views, depending on how they go. So you see, you know, it takes like the I same 25 defend. to 30 people are cycling defend. for, you know, a quarter of the year. And we've only been doing this for like <laughs> almost a year now, like three quarters of a year. Yeah, 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 quite a long time. So yeah, it's just it it's it's tough to get added in, <laughs> which is one of the reasons I wanted to just put this show together with a bunch of randos that we've never used. Yep, that's fair enough. Thank and you then, very much, Volcayo. Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, yeah. sorry, Gorilla, but thank you very much, Volcayo, for giving out the the subs. So thank you very much, Volk. There you go. Should I should absolutely thanks, Volk, for seven Jim <laughs> or seven someone else to Jim. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it's tough to keep people happy. It's obviously the people who are uh, who are around more, more active yeah. than that generally. Yeah. Generally, we make a lot of, of the card. A lot of our storyline decisions are based off of the people who just hang out and chat a lot. Because, like, you know, we put this show on like four hours a week. You know, if we have twenty-five people watching it, oh, another Ooh. low blow from behind, ref being very generous. But yeah, you know, so we we, we, tr we generally cater to the audience that we know is going to watch, so. <laughs> and Marcel him. McDaniels. <laughs> yeah, a bit of Marcel. <laughs> Cheeky bit of Marcel. If I accidentally meme you into relevancy. <laughs> oh, brass wind. And again, though, Baker's kicking out. He's, uh, <laughs> he is, uh. Had some busted uh, kiwis there. Yeah, he's <laughs> for a monster, sure. isn't he? Here's another just a regular pin here by Kiwi. Two count. Baker's struggling now. He's gonna have to turn it on if he's gonna do anything. Hello, brass wind. Kiwi, the big man, faltering a little bit. His cardio, maybe a little lackluster. But again, not much coming at him from, uh, ooh, look at that. Dropping the elbow into the pin. And another two count. A very weak kick out there by Bakers. Bakers has done basically nothing. Quick kick, though, gets him on his feet here. Oh, look at this. Oh. Not a bad maneuver there. Bakers with the pin. This would be... This would be some kind of turnaround. It is. <laughs> he told he did the mini Tony plays poorly. Maybe that's what Jim uh, Jim McMahon was looking for. Baker's taking all the damage and coming out with the win with the one two three after the finisher. <laughs> wow! Oh, all these God. all these low lives are really getting on well together, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think. Uh, I think it's because, like, everyone just started as a clone of everyone else. 
But, uh, yeah, Huey on Stack Attack should probably have 100% treachery. I think he does. Like, that's, you know, like, a lot of them well, have you got... you don't shake in, hands if you do. Well, a lot of them sure. have got individual things, so it's just weird. I think it's just fucked. To be honest. <laughs> I think it probably... Maybe. Just probably those stats, like all the others, don't matter. <laughs> yeah. All right, and here you go, <laughs> Chuckman Milk versus Golden Fagor. Now, of all the of all the performers we've had on tonight, Golden Fagor has probably been in the most high, the highest stakes, most memorable match in JFW history, and that's that excellent backstage brawl which he fell short against none other than Skurametso in the greatest backstage brawl of all time so he's been there he's been to the top of the mountain but uh he did not he did not plant his flag there and now he, someone's gonna do some planting uh and i think it's gonna be chug man milk in this one yeah and good lord do we have to look at chug man for <laughs> five to ten minutes here Get excited, folks. Whoa. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> so again, that low bar we were talking about earlier. <laughs> oh, flippy fuck. <laughs> mm. And yeah, happy new year, everybody. Hello, Flicky. <laughs> Complete with the lover's box. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, here he is, the Golden Fagor, I can styles. Yeah. Maybe this should be, is maybe this will be the guy that uh, Mr. Jim Spack said. Maybe. Let's see if he can get past Chug. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be Chug win, lose, or draw. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Golden Fagor, uh, pretty solid. Pretty solid in the ring. It was a great move set trained by Roman Reigns, I believe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's a good Jim's favorite. Uh, isn't it? Yeah, you'd think so, but uh, has not put it all together. Uh, again, career got derailed early by uh, falling to Skirmetso. He just could never really recover from that epic, <laughs> epic <laughs> battle backstage. Yep. And here we go. Two big men pounding it out in the ring together. Pounding. <laughs> Oof. And clothesline sending uh, Golden Fagor over the top rope right onto that 10 feet of concrete. Wouldn't this be a quick uh, double count out for these two <laughs> in the danger zone? That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Six count by the ref. I think we'll be okay here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, Chug knows. And looks like Golden Fagord on his feet, and he's back in before the eight count. Mm. Chug could have won that match if he just kept beating on him there. <laughs> <laughs> Maneuver we saw on Monday Night Claw. <laughs> Big clothesline taking down the Golden Fagor. <laughs> Although he sweeps the leg much like Johnny and Co Karate Kid Cobra Kai Season 3 out now, folks. Oh, I, uh, 
would much rather be watching that than this match, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, thanks, yeah, we're, Gorilla. Uh, that's a great plug. <laughs> yeah, to, uh, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Just <laughs> waiting for 90% of our audience to leave with me as I go to download <laughs> that right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm two, two episodes deep. I, I I had to pry myself away from just watching it all in, in a row and not having any more to watch. <laughs> At least I have something to look forward to for another few days of uh, 2021. Yeah. <laughs> Here Chug. we go, Chug posing. Chug's really feeling it. Yeah, Chug's got a hell of a move set as well. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Who was he trained by? Uh, Lashley. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's right. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God, look at that. How did, uh, Volk, how did, uh, how did that tournament end up? Who ended up winning it? Yeah, who won? I saw that Chunter was third, that was all. I saw Devo basically lost everything, and <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't get to watch a lot of it because of, because of Cobra Kai. But from what I saw, Devo was not having a good morning with it. Quanchi, Quanchi, Quanchi won it. Who was second then? Yeah, oh, oh, and for it. <laughs> brutal. Quanchi first, Chunter and Volk third. Okay, fuck second. Fair enough. It's uh, nice seeing that. I didn't know anything about it. Nice seeing a little surprise tournament inviting all of the best blood bowlers uh, on Twitch. Yeah. Uh, into a into a tournament where they can play more than three rounds of blood bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you know, Huanchi, good for him. Probably didn't have to run into an edge three or excuse me, edge two Crocs uh, <laughs> to. Uh, Throw him off his winning ways there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I wasn't invited to it because I mean I couldn't handle fucking three turns of blood bowl in mind four games. Oh yeah, no, you're not you're, you're not getting invited to a blood bowl competition anymore. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. Yeah. At first I was like, here we go. Whoa. But now I was like, Golden yeah. Fagor unloading. <laughs> oh, he's going for the spear. Oh, no, sure the is. Call it for it. Yep. The super for goal punch. <laughs> he hits it. Is that going to do it? Is that enough? He's not even going for the pin. Now maybe thinking the spear. No. Nope. Yeah, well, he kicked my concede in for. Killed my. Yeah. Yeah, killed it, my it, went, it went exactly as you'd expect, Volk. <laughs> yep. I failed, I failed a leap and then got killed. <laughs> Here comes the spear now. He's got him lined up. This has got to be it if he hits oh, this oh. Superman punch into the spear. Oh, no, he countered. Coming. He countered it into a DDT. And he's very proud of himself. Maybe he needs to put a little more offense in no. the floor. And that's why Golden Fagor is sending him out of the ring. Chugman Milk had an opening, and he uh, failed, uh, failed to capitalize. Now Golden Fagor in the ring here, stalking over on Chugman Milk, going for the pin here. Has he done enough, though? No, he has not. Yeah, that Christopher game was pretty ridiculous. I watched that. <laughs> he fucking annihilated him. Oh, I think Jim fell asleep, I folks. Don't. No, I'm coughing my guts out. I'm fucked. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> He didn't. He didn't really dice the shit out of me. I, I just I overcommitted and then um, failed a leap that would have like made everything all right. Oh, golden for goal, wouldn't it? And that's gonna do it. It sure. It sure looked like Chuckman Milk had his hand on the rope, but maybe that was just you know the terrible game that we've committed so much time to. Mm. <laughs> looked like he was looked like he was reaching up and grabbing it, but there you go, Golden Fagor getting the win, and just like you said, he's got all of the tools. That Mr. Jim Smith man likes maybe a bit too much of a freakish look. We'll find out. <laughs> Could Golden Fagor be the apple 
in Mr. Jim McMahon's eyes. Maybe. And now, finally, folks, a real match that matters. The <laughs> Plim Plom Pluserweight Championship is up for grabs. Elliot will be defending against the Friday fuckboy himself. Le Red Mask, Le Plim Plom Plu, Tom Schniz is in the house. This is going to be hopefully a good one. Yeah. It's Friday. You know what that means. It's time for the Friday Night Fuckboy. G'day, cocky. G'day. There you go. Ancy got it. <laughs> All right. I meant to do it at the beginning of the show, and then I got sidetracked. <laughs> All right, here we go. The original Plim Plomp Loserweight is coming out, and he's coming for his title. Mm. And he's got the money in the bank contract, Phil. Which he's cashing well, in right he's now. he's cashing it in, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he won this on the Christmas special in the uh, Christmas special Money in the Bank match. It granted him a one-time uh, a one-time title match, but only this week. And he called it for tonight for his old title, the Plim Plum Cruiserweight Championship. Yeah, that's why I left it on him, see? I was going to delete it, and I was like, no, let's have him come out with it because he's I, cashing in. It, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. And we definitely didn't instantly forget about him winning that right on Monday night and put up, put together another set of circumstances in which he qualified for a match. Yep. <laughs> Certainly that didn't happen. <laughs> well, the championship music strikes up. Here he fucking comes. The rowdy one himself, Elliot, with the biggest belt in professional wrestling around the smallest waists. The Blim Plum Pluser Wick Championship. Oh, baby. Every single color on that belt clashing miserably with this <laughs> green outfit. Mm -hmm. That's not true, actually. Red and green. Blue and green doesn't work, though. Blue and green looks hideous. <laughs> 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 oh, thanks, Flicky. And here we go. Title match underway. Le Red Mask, the Friday fuckboy. It's his time to retrieve that title. That bears his very namesake. Yeah. Hoppy new beer. Oh, sad to go. You too, baby. No. Jesus Christ. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Ain't> that <it> feels. <laughs> I suppose you have kids, so it's allowed to be that cheesy. Introducing the champion from England, weighing in. Fuck's sake, Elliot looks a lot like Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> the cruiserweight champion. Rowdy. Rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is not Irish at all. <laughs> <I don't think. laughs> yeah, he's just a ginger. I mean, 
all gingers are originated from Ireland in some capacity. That that's where they <laughs> crawled out of the uh, proverbial pool of life or whatever. And... Yeah. I don't know, man. He was just straight, and I was like, he looks like a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the whole thing. And then I thought, oh, I'm not going to make him a leprechaun. We do postulate. <laughs> I mean, we do postulate that Elliot is uh, the word, the name, the Irish name Doyle backwards. So <laughs> <laughs> you never, you never know. Yeah. Yep. As uh, someone who pretty much exclusively sleeps with gingers, apparently. Well, now I definitely do. <laughs> I'm engaged to one. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't say pretty much exclusively. <laughs> no, you probably, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> 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 and she dyes her hair from time to time. Oh dear, fantastic. But you can trust me as an authority on all things gin all things ginger. <laughs> also, I own the Sha I am the owner of the Shawnee Football League at this point. Uh given that I've won it twice, <laughs> you may have heard. Shawnee, yeah. the uh the yeah, resident. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know. Here. We know, we know, we know. Right, look, look at the look at this match here. It's the Plum Plum Blues away championship on the line. The main event. Look at these shots from Elliot. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Yep. Sure were a lot of chops. The most exciting move in wrestling. Yeah, devastating chops. And Shut up, Satterfield. Now he's Every to dog has it. his day. <laughs> <laughs> fucking miserable game of blood bowl that was <laughs> <laughs> but you know what Jim it lasted 16 turns <laughs> well worst look for you dickhead <laughs> well, I, had a, I had a chance I, I still had a chance and I still had a chance so what my last game only lasted 3 turns <laughs> that sounds much better to me <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of us actually uh, can admit to enjoying the game of Blood Bowl. I wish I enjoyed playing it. <laughs> well, anyway, back to the ring. Elliot wrenching that leg on the bread mask. The high flyer trying to take that uh, vertical base out from him. Take away the big maneuverability, the big jumps from the top rope. But, uh, oof, big mistake there. Splaying his arms out and waiting to get punched in the face. <laughs> Yep. Oh, look at these forearm smashes. Yeah. He's pretty rowdy, isn't yeah. he? Oh my god, look at that. Just kicking the fuck out of his stupid bread face. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, well, again, he has that champion's advantage, you know. They, they seem to just perform better once they come out with that belt. So it's an uphill climb here, but if you had to ask me pound for pound, LeBred Mass should be just walking away with the title tonight. Well, I don't know, Elliot's, Elliot's quite the uh, quite the competitor, isn't he? He's pretty rowdy. Yeah, Elliot did win that big uh, over-the-top battle royale on Christmas Day as well. Yeah. Um, it won him absolutely nothing, but still impressive nonetheless. <laughs> Indeed it was. Crowd seems to be firmly behind Le Bread Mask. The Friday fuckboy has won himself a uh, bit of a cheering squad. But right now, Elliot all over Le Bread Mask. We might see a pinfall attempt here soon. Not yet. Can uh, Le Bread Mask turn this around for himself? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, boy, look at that. Blue Thunder Bomb. Somebody tell him it's Friday. He did have a match on a Tuesday. That must have put him all off. All out of sorts here. The Friday fuckboy in some big trouble here. Pinfall attempt. Two count, but he kicks out. Oh, look at this maneuver. Nicely done in for the power bomb. Nice little counter power bomb there by Lebred Mask. Innovative stuff. Mm. And a quick punch, and now all of a sudden, just like that. Look at that or fall away suplex. And here we go. Lebred Mask going up top. Oh, my goodness. That is a long way to go, though. 
Tom Schniz gonna fly. No, wow, he's uh, he is locked in. Oh no! But that beautiful drop kick, probably Elliot's best move there, caught him off guard. Suplex by Elliot, and now a pin of temp. This could be it. Lebred Mass could be out. He's coming. Oh no! No, oh, two count again. Yeah, Schniz uh, didn't go to the top rope, didn't commit to it. Could have been his undoing. Usually it's the other way around. Mm. Maybe he needed to fly there, though. Maybe. Now that head, chin lock in, um, you know, in, in there, that's a move. Mm. Oh, nicely done, though. He's... <laughs> flies around him, arm drags him down, and now Elliot, no, countered Lebred Mask. Both these men staggered and punching, both of them countering every other maneuver right now. Elliot's got him up, drops him down, hangs him up on those ropes. Oh, oh Flicky. <laughs> oh, another blue thunder bomb doesn't hang on for the pin. Now he does. Rolls him over. Goes to the pin. Two count again. Tom Schniz hanging on. The Friday fuckboy is going to have to turn on his motors and get that engine revving if he wants a chance to walk away with the giant title. Look at that. Snaps right up into getting kicked in the stomach. <laughs> yeah. Popped up like some fresh toast in the morning. <laughs> you really did, didn't he? Oh, and here we go. High impact maneuver going, setting Elliot up. No, hangs him back down and then kicks him right in the gut. A lot of, a lot of sound and fury signifying nothing. But now he's going top rope, looking like he's going to fly. He might overshoot this. Oh, boy. Oh, he did Oh, he sticks it. The 720. This could be it. No. It's oh, two and two and seven eighths. Almost had him. LeBred Mask wants to focus here. Elliot back on his feet. LeBred Mask right back on him. Good stuff. <laughs> Sends him over the ropes. LeBred Mask. He is firing up now. Not even pursuing him outside of the ring. Champion's advantage here. LeBred Mask cannot win the title on a count out, and he's got to understand that. For fuck's sake. There you go. <laughs> Oh, look at this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> that does not That's look wild. good. In Indian Deathlock? I think it might have been. <laughs> Sorry, only a five count look and he's back in. Yeah, easily back in. Oh, an oh, 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 no way. Oh, out of nowhere. I thought that was going to get countered. But he sticks at Arclayo out of nowhere. We've seen him dig deep on that one before. But Elliot kicks him in the gut on the counter. No plim plum plex coming yet. Oh, he staggered. Oh, no, the self block bottom. And oh, look at this into the nice submission maneuver. He might have caught him here. We've seen LeBret Mask with that self rock bottom end so many matches, bloody so many faces, but he hangs on, does not tap out. What a comeback by Elliot. What a match we've got brewing here. Absolutely. Big kick. LeBret Mask is having trouble focusing, though. He's very excited. He can taste <laughs> that title. Yep. And just working that arm over to set him up for, you know, another 720. <laughs> oh, no, he's going right into the pin, that weakened arm. He's not going to be able to use that power to kick out. But he's still able to. Kicks out at two again. Oh, oh look at this. Move. Absolutely innovative pin. Just the two count. A million rope breaks there. Didn't get called. <laughs> Elliot. Firing himself up now. He can feel it. He thinks he's close, but he's going to have to close this out. He's getting to keep rowdy. his title. Sure is getting rowdy. Oh, 
Oh, sidesteps the drop kick there. What a match. LeBred Mask sets him up. Oof. Big kick to the side of the head, and that might have put Elliot out. Elliot falls down, ref in the way. Here's the pin. Ref, count it. Jesus, ref. <laughs> Oh, I thought he got oh, it. Two and a half. He had it. Ref, oh, the ref was God. slow on the count. He had a three count there. And now here we go. He's going high impact once again. Uh-oh. Elliot's stirring. Oh, he, oh got him. he drives it. Drives the elbow into the lower back. That has got to hurt. Le bread mask. <laughs> Counters kicked in the hammy. <laughs> oh, he misses with the disaster kick. That was a disaster. It sure was. Nope. But look at this. So was oh, that. What Jesus a maneuver. Christ. Here we go. Le Bread Mask. Oh, no, boy. Oh, boy. Long this is way a to long go. Way away. Oh, yeah. This could sure be is. Cool. Is he going to do it? Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. He's done it. He sticks the this way. This is going to be it. Right into the oh. He kicked out. What a maneuver by LeBret Mask, but Elliot somehow, some way, <laughs> kicks out. Oh, oh look at this! He hooks the leg! Ref slow again. Oh my god. Kicks out. Oh my god, if the ref was on the ball, we would have had two title turns here, but here comes Elliot. <laughs> oh no, look out, LeBret Mask. Self rock bottom into this Once, thing. Yeah, right into that into that nasty maneuver there. Is he gonna tap? Hang on, LeBred Mask. The rowdy lock. <laughs> I think he's gonna he's gonna break it, yeah. He is, he breaks out somehow, some way. These two are going to the limits. Oh, this this is why it. this is why we put Plim Plom losers in the main event. Yeah. But that <laughs> is gonna do it. He had enough to withstand, but not enough to kick out. And somehow, Elliot is still your Plim Plum Cruiserweight Champion. What a match. The bread mask ain't going nowhere, folks. I got to believe he's still very much in contention after that performance. But Elliot, the fighting champ, he has retained his title and will continue on. <laughs> your Plim Plum Cruiserweight Champion, folks. My name is Gorilla Metso, and that is going to do it for Friday. Stand firm, as always, Jimmy Ventura. Thanks for having me, and I will see you all on Monday Night Claw. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. What was that?